Hey guys, Howard here once again with Number 9 Dream from John Lennon. I did mind games the other day and uh, everybody was asking for much more Lennon, okay? And uh, this one came through quite a few times so I thought I'd uh, take a look at it. Number 9 Dream, as I said, another one of my favorite John Lennon songs. It's just the perfect match of melody to chords, if you know what I mean, okay? It's a pretty easy song to play, but I'll get into a couple of the uh, particulars in it, okay? So let's map out the chords as usual. The intro is the verses, okay? So uh, the intro is the verses, <laughs> all right? So the first chord is C, which I'm playing with that G in the bass. And then we go to an E minor. And then we go to an F. And then we move to an E7. Back to F. D7. F. G7. Okay? And the strumming on these chords is all the same. I'm basically playing this. Down, down, up, up, down. But as always, keep your hands swinging. But that is the, uh, the anticipated syncopation, if you know what I mean. But again, just keep your hands swinging. And as you can see, you stay on the G7 twice as long, okay? So that's the intro, and then you repeat that exactly for the, uh, the beginning of the verse, okay? And then you repeat it again, but the second time we're going to go to a regular G chord. And I'll explain why so that you can play that. Play that little part as well, okay? So let's run that down from when uh, the vocal enters. So listen carefully to the recording for that because the timing's a little, not weird, but a little different from what you might expect, right? And what I'm doing is copying those string lines, which a lot of people do when they play this tune. You know, Lennon will sing a lyric and then the strings will play. And you can strum that any way you want. You can see I really anticipated it. At first really gave it a... Anything you want to do. But basically what you're doing on this is you're playing sort of a mock G chord, okay? The A string is muted out by the flatness of your ring finger and stay away from the first E string if you can. Strum that G chord out. There's a lot of orchestration and production in this particular song. Piano strings, the works, right? And then Lennon will sing a line and then the strings will sort of copy it. So what I'm doing is moving from the open B string to the first fret on the B string and using my pinky, the third fret on the uh, B string, okay? Now, the timing is what's important. So your hand is just swinging, right? Down, up, down, and then catch that first note on the first fret on the B string with the upstroke. And then the next note, the third fret on the B string, is caught with the downstroke. That's really important. Very cool part indeed. And you can kind of sing that if you're just singing it by yourself on guitar. You can change the cadence up a little bit if you want. Lennon really waits a while before he sings the line. Uh, but you can kind of uh, push that a little forward if you want to, okay? 
acoustic singer-songwriter style. Now this next part is kind of interesting. We have an E minor ninth, which of course has the minor seventh in it as well, to a simple A major chord. And in the mix, you can hear this acoustic guitar pretty clearly actually arpeggiating these chords. And they may vary it a little bit, but that's basically uh, the nuts and bolts of it. That's what they're playing. So I've got that up on the screen for you to see in case you want to play it like that when you dive off into that part. you can always just strum it if you want to. Just strumming earnestly away, okay? And again, you play this part seven times before we move on to this. again, all right? So let's talk about that part right there, which I kind of consider the chorus. Uh, you can play a straight G minor if that sounds better to you, but it sounds more like a minor seventh to me. It's a little bit richer sounding, if you know what I mean. And we move to a C chord, again with that G in the bass. I think those two chords play like that sounds quite nice, but again, you can just play a G minor if that sounds better to you. The strumming pattern is the same, and we play this sequence three times. And then we move to the arpeggios. And this is just a reasonable facsimile of what's going on in the actual recording, right? Because that stuff is being covered by piano and pretty heavy orchestration. You kind of hear this stuff on the recording, one and two and... Right? So what I'm doing is grabbing those actual notes and just arranging them into a reasonable and feasible way to play it on guitar. So let me put the tab up on the screen and play this for you nice and slow. And that's it. It sounds quite nice on guitar, actually. right back to a verse and everything repeats. So there you go with Number Nine Dream from John Lennon. Uh, a great tune, a really cool song. Like I said, in my mind, kind of a perfect blend of melody meets the chords. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as always, and uh, we'll see you real soon.